Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nathan. Welcome to Engineering and Economy. Today we are going to look at rooftop solar PV connection schemes available in Sri Lanka. Basically, there are four types of solar PV tariff currently available in Sri Lanka, which are net metering, net accounting, net plus and net plus plus. Let's look at one by one. Net metering. Net metering is a billing mechanism that credits solar energy producers also called as consumers for the electricity they add to the grid but no payment will be made for the excess electricity supplied over consumption under this scheme so typically this means that uh, if you have a net metering scheme you will not be paid for whatever energy you are exporting to the grid this means like if you are consuming 30 units in a particular month and you are exporting 35 unit then the remaining five units will be accounted as a credit in your account but there will be no payment will be added uh, electricity board will be checked whether next month uh, you can use that five units likewise every month <coughs> if your export i mean the, your solar power generation more than your energy consumption then the the excess will be credited into your account as a kilowatt hour unit not as a rupees so there will be no payment uh, to be made to the household owners so if you go to the uh, detail energy interchange <coughs> customer may feed surplus energy at any time of the day customers purchases from the grid will be charged at a usual rate the grid act as an energy bank in this scheme a grid will save your energy okay if you go to the payment scheme there will be no payment for energy supply to the grid if in the billing period customer has provided a net surplus they will be credited to the account so surpluses can be carried through the future so the next month next month it, it can carry to the next month. net accounting is similar to the net metering however there will be payment to be made by the electricity board to the rooftop solar PV rooftop owners this means that earlier net metering there will be no payment but in net accounting there will be payment that payment means uh, let's say you are consuming 30 units in a particular month but so your solar panels are generating 35 units so the additional five units which you are exporting to the grid will be paid by the electricity board CB this means additional five units will be paid for each kilowatt hour each units what is the feed-in tariff this feed-in tariff is decided by the parliament cabinet during the financial year every financial year it will be decided so there will be a fixed rate maybe there are different terms of contract between CB and the rooftop owners that we can look later but this uh, excess electricity will be paid through the feed-in tariff for each unit If you look at the connection uh, topology or connection diagram the net metering and net accounting will have the same connections there will be no different in terms of connections between the net metering and net accounting this means like there will be one energy meter that is a net meter so that will count what is a the excess energy you are exporting to the grid minus whatever the consumption you're consuming it means like the meter one meter will count the balance balance between the the energy consumption energy and energy export let's move into uh, net next scheme that is a net plus when you look at the net plus it involves getting paid for all the amount of electricity generated using the solar panels fixed on the premises there is no link between the amount of energy used by the consumers and the amount of energy produced by the system. Two separate meters will be installed to measure import and export of energy separately. So this means net plus handle energy import that your energy consumption for your house and whatever energy solar panel is generating that is energy export are two separate entities. It means there is no connection between what you consume within your house and what you export to the grid through the panels so it's just two separate things so that is the major difference between the uh, first two cases and the 
net plus. So if you look at the net plus diagram, so we have uh, two separate energy meters. One is for the electricity meter, one is for the, the cross meter. Cross meter will uh, check how much energy the solar panels are exporting to the grid, you are selling to the grid. The usual electricity meter will check how much energy you are consuming from the grid. So that's a clear difference between um, net meter and uh, the previous cases. So when you look at net plus plus, that is a new addition recently added in the Sri Lankan uh, tariff scheme. So net plus plus currently all other schemes connected to the grid are limited to customers contract demand. The limitation result in uh, under utilization of available roof space for solar power generation beyond the contracted demand. To address this issue, the utility has introduced the net plus plus scheme which allows consumers to install rooftop solar PV system beyond their contract demand. Simply, you can install the large size of solar PV panels beyond the contract demand. Contract demand means that you have a contract with the CB uh, for the particular size of panel. But for this, in this scheme, you can install the large size of panel so that you can uh, sell uh, more electricity uh, to the grid. Under the net plus plus scheme, uh, the roofs of solar PV system is considered classified as a power plant. So that's a different. Earlier in net plus scheme, it is considered as your household rooftop solar PV. In the net plus plus, it is considered as, as a one of the power plant. And it's uh, permitted to uh, consume only auxiliary power required for the power system. So auxiliary, whenever auxiliary uh, power requirement is there, then uh, uh, this uh, uh, solar uh, energy can be exported to the grid. And in the net, <coughs> sorry, in the net plus plus, the essential aspect is net plus plus scheme is a separation of its wiring from all other internal wiring. So that's the beauty that there will be no connection between your internal wiring and the rooftop solar PV. And the net plus plus scheme is facilitate the implementation of roof rental agreement aggregators models, uh, which aim to maximize the rooftop solar generation. Under this model, investors or tariff customers can enter into agreement with a utility. So uh, that's all about all these basic things. Let's uh, discuss what uh, what type you have you want to choose. So whether net metering or net accounting or net plus or net plus plus. So we can uh, discuss a little bit. So let's say you are uh, your uh, aim. There are deep and financial analysis is there, but your uh, plan is to reduce your energy uh, bills. I mean the price. Okay, whatever you want to pay to CB. Let's say you are going to install the air condition because of hot weather. So because you are installing air condition, you want to install the solar PV to cover up your electricity bill. In this case, your primary objective is to, is to reduce the electricity bill, not earning a profit or anything. So you want to uh, make your electricity bill zero. That is a, a, your primary aim. So in this case, net metering is enough. So in net metering, you will not be paid any money from the CB, but your bill can go to zero. You don't need to pay anything if you balance your consumption and your solar energy export is equal. So that's clear. If your purpose is that simple, if your panel size may be 5 kilowatt panel, 6 kilowatt panel, 7 kilowatt panels. For that case, uh, net metering is, is more suitable. If let's say you, your requirement is about 5 kilowatt panel, but you want to install 20 kilowatt panel because you got some loan from bank in a cheap rate, interest rate or some, uh, you want to do a little bit of investment. In this case, you are adding 15 kilowatt more panels into the, your roof. In this case, you want to earn some money on top of your balancing your air condition, uh, all other uh, energy consumption uh, added to your house. You want to export the solar power generation and you want to earn money. This means this case is like 20 kilowatt panel, 30, 40 kilowatt panels. In this case, you can go for net accounting, which means you are partially you are going to use that energy to balance your electricity bills, I mean your uh, own energy consumption, your, your, your house energy consumption. At the same time, you are going to earn some money from a CB by selling the solar energy. So then, for the next case, if you go to net plus, net plus, that is a typical case that the entire, entire wiring is different, which means net plus and net plus plus, we can consider both uh, look similar uh, schemes. So. Let's say you are owning or you, you are the owner of the house, but you are going to rent this house for someone else. But you want to uh, install the solar panels on the roof and you are going to use the roof top to generate some money, uh, profit or uh, benefits. So in this case, 
your uh, the tenants are different people uh, you you don't uh, really care what are the equipment they are using they are using lights fans uh, a water pump computer television so you you you, uh, you really uh, don't care about their electricity bills because they, they are renting your house you can't argue with their uh, them about the electricity bills so what you can own you can do own your rooftop because this house is your own house so in that case you don't want to interfere your wiring or billing or anything not to be interfere with the uh, the people who are living in the house but you still want to get a uh, uh, business idea so i mean the, you want to you still want to uh, sell the solar power to the grid in this case you have to go to the net plus because in this net plus scheme the wiring is separate there are two energy meters one energy meter is for the house one energy meter for the solar panels so there will be no uh, surprise uh, no uh, interference between your uh, bills in in terms of accounting and that's what i mean the accounting financial accounting as well as in terms of your physical connections so in this case uh, this case you can go for the net plus and if you go for a larger system you can go for net plus plus that's all for today thank you very much please subscribe this channel and uh, provide your full support